Oh my bitches, hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Supergirl 612 reaction video. If you haven't checked out part 1 of this reaction, make sure you go and click the link in the description box below to watch on first. Otherwise, let's just get right back into this episode. Kylie just dragged the shit out of the Super Friends. Unlike, look, as she should. Uh, what, can, what, what can you say? She's right. She has every right to, you know, come at them and be like, you're not listening to me. Like, hear what I have to say. She's trying to help these people and no one's listening to her. They keep sh either shutting her down or stopping her mid-sentence. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? And I'm so glad she did that. This is why Ozzy is a queen. This is why. This is why representation matters. This is exactly right. Uh, exactly why. Anyways, let's just get right back into this episode. Let's go. Sorry about that. I don't know what just happened. No, it had to be done. Yeah, that's right. I just want to make a difference. But I am one person fighting a system that has been against those that need it mm. for centuries. Use your exhaustion to fuel your fire. Oh, I love that. I love that. I've carried racial trauma like breath. I had an opportunity to become a special kind of hero. Oh, the Green Lantern, yeah. But it would have meant me leaving Lila. What kind of hero do I really want to be? So the question is. But you know what, though? He's not wrong. Like, being a hero doesn't mean you have to have superpowers. That doesn't mean you. Yeah, that doesn't define what a hero is. A hero is somebody who stands up, you know, stands up for what they believe in and protects people. A hero doesn't def mean superpowers, it's humanity, you know? What are you gonna do oh. with what you're feeling? Guardian. Right now. I wanna be an advocate for the people who have lost hope, for the people who don't have heroes that look like them. Protecting those that are exhausted so they don't have to fight every single day for themselves. I know. I'm gonna cry again, so be normal. Let that guide you. <laughs> Bless John! I love him. I have pushed down so much trauma. Heights has brought up. You push it down and you keep going. And over time, that gets exhausting. You may not get it. I need you to understand that it exists. Mm. It's important. No hope in hospitals. No hope in police. And no hope in superheroes. Mm. I was just so desperately trying to catch Nixley because I knew she would cause more damage. Yes. No, but see, this has to be a wake-up call for Kara, you know? This has to be a wake-up call a little bit because... Yeah, I know Kara. We know Kara protects everybody she wants. She saves everybody. Like, she... I know, obviously, we know. She's not a bad person. But she might overlook a couple of things because, you know, she, she might overlook it because she doesn't get it. And my home freely Callie can kind of, you know, open up her eyes and be like, kind of give her a bit of a wake-up call. Be like, listen, this is important to me, to people who look like her. Like, it's important, you know? Future. I really do care. Like, when Agent Liberty was targeting aliens, I marched amongst the aliens. Okay. You are an alien. Exactly. In a fight that was close to you. Yes. I mean, just like I was in the Heights. Sometimes you are going to miss things because they are different than your lived experience. Yes! It doesn't necessarily make you a bad person, mm -hmm. but we really need to hear each other. Yeah, ex this is so... I didn't even think of that. I didn't even... I completely forgot about Agent Liberty, to be honest. But, like, when he was attacking aliens, obviously Kara took it personally because she's an alien. And Kylie's gone through the same thing, you know? And it's, they've gone through similar journeys, and now it's like... You know, you th it, was, it was important to you, Kara, because you're an alien. Kayla's going through the exact same thing, and like, you need to hear how important it is and help her fight the fight. You need to help her. Everyone needs to help her. So, like, that was such a great, like, parallel. Like, Kara went through the exact same thing with the aliens, and now it's time to hear Kelly and help Kelly. you know? Just even you have blind spots. Mm -hmm. Hear me when I say that they need help. And support me. You never should have had to do this alone. Oh. None of this is okay. And I just feel so guilty. No, no. I appreciate that. It's about what you do next. Yeah, yeah. That's how you do it moving forward. It's about how you change going forward. Exactly! Oh my god! Sorry. I love this! I'm sorry. This was... Oh, man. They're really... I can't... Oh, man. Like, I... I'm just so overwhelmed because I'm just like, holy shit. Like, I, it's actually embarrassing that it's taken this long to have a story like this, focusing on cat. It's ridiculous. And I'm just like, 
finally, like, this is what Supergirl is all about. This is what the show is all about. This exactly here. Oh, my God. Ozzy needs to write the entire show at this point. I'm not joking. She needs to write everything. She is... We, I knew this episode would exceed my expectations. I were only, like, just over halfway through. But, like, holy shit. You will most likely never understand what she is going through. That's true. I have chosen to wear the face of a black man for a very long time now. Yeah, that's right. I could have changed races. Could have changed into someone else. Wearing the skin has made me feel most like an alien on this planet. Feeling like I don't belong really is my home. But I also realize that Kelly and James don't have the option to make that choice. Yeah, exactly. That's true. And I know you are. And I know how much you and Kelly love each other. Exactly. She does too. You'll be there for her. And she'll be glad that you are. I know. This was sweet space there. Like, this was nice. I feel like she needed to hear this from John first. You know? Because obviously this is a big wake up call for Alex too. Like, you know, they love each other, whatever. But she would never understand what Kelly's going through. It's just, wow. Like, I, that conversation everything man i don't even know what to say at this point because i'm just so in so i'm just so in awe of how beautiful this episode is and how we're bringing all this to light which has been way way overdue let's go get her yes oh my god i'm gonna let the team know do you need a ride to the heights i'm gonna take care of something first i need your help with the helmet needs some work i know the lines aren't great I've been waiting for this moment a very long time. Does he know? Because he's from the future, right? So would he know that Callie would become Guardian? Like, would he know this? I don't know. Have we figured out any of this? Ending discrimination, racism. Please tell me we do. I want to tell you what's all in the past. And even in the 31st century, we haven't. It is better in, in, in so many ways. You know what you have here in this time that we never had? What? You. Oh! The guardian. Oh, please! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so she will. I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So, like, obviously, they never had Guardian. So, obviously, this was like. This was never. Well, you know. They never had that in the 31st century, but now they do, so maybe things can get better, you know, maybe things can get a little bit better than it, in the future than it is in the future now, currently, I don't, it's confusing, but, oh, Freeny! Got a big difference. I, I believe in you, Kelly <laughs> Me too! I always have something flashy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no! I'm so happy for that! I'm ready, bitch. My body is ready. <gasps> oh! my god, boys! Look! Oh, hold on. One more time. We're just gonna rewind it, because I wasn't ready. The way she, the The whole outfit literally is everything. Like, I'm- I- am I ready? I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not- I'm not worthy to see this. I'm telling you, I'm not worthy. That's right, she looks so fucking good, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She looks so good. Even though we saw the photos, so we knew what it was gonna look like anyways. Like, we saw the photos, whatever. But, like, seeing it, like, on my screen, she looks so fucking good, man. Oh, my God. She looks incredible. Holy shit, this queen, man. Oh, this is if Guardian is here. Guardian has arrived. Good luck. Things are about to change, bitch. Oh! That's right! That's right! They're all... That's right. Exactly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having... Listen. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm so... It, it, I need to calm down. I'm so hyped. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm so, like... I'm just so happy! Oh my god, I can't. Finally, K 
Callie gets what she deserves. This fucking legend plays. I mean, hurt the city anymore. that's exactly Nia's right. Nia! Yes, Nia! I'm here because of Kelly Olsen. Your guardian. I know how to get <laughs> my energy back, but I need your help. I mean, at least you can't really tell it's Kelly, because like, the helmet does good. So, like, I wouldn't think... It does look... She looks different than what she usually looks like, you know, in, like, without the suit on. So, like... But I love it, man! Ah! Sorry. Trust should be earned. And when you've been wronged, mm. nothing in you tells you to trust again. Oh my god. I start to prove I'm different. Yes, I... Please. What do you mean? <laughs> yes, I'll land a king! Ah! Sorry. Fuck, I'm excited. Look at her! Look at her! Standing on top of the building! The quick Look at her! <laughs> National City, you have failed! No! What's her name? Joan? You have failed! This city, bitch! Guardian has arrived! You're, you're done. Look! Up there! Oh, please! I'm gonna cry! <laughs> oh, no! So what the fuck? I'm just in the... <laughs> okay! I'm gone. I'm gone, man. Like, how this is so powerful. Like, you know, they're all coming out and, like, seeing Guardian up there. Oh my god, that is. It's like, look up there. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I would cry. But, like, the, to see her like, up there and then they're seeing her. Like, that's hope. But like, they're seeing hope, you know? Like, that's. What was a totem humanity? That's Kelly Olsen! Okay! Oh, look! She's healing them all! Fine! Oh, no, boys, isn't helping Nixley? Who cares? Who the fuck cares? She saved them all! Guardian did that with the help of the Super Friends, but Guardian did that. Oh, I'm fine! I'm fine! Look, she did that! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna get over like the them walking out and like seeing her on the building. I'm not getting over that shit. I'm sorry. That was, was so good. That was so that was top. That was golden. That was I'm think I'm still crying. It's fine. <laughs> just give me a sec, so I won't be fine. Um, alright. <laughs> that was incredible. I spoke uh. with the doctors. Remember, always eat your vegetables. <laughs> We're in the room. <laughs> Always be here for you all. Sounds like the Heights is gonna need a new council member. <gasps> I'm a what? Nice guy. I don't even have a place to live. Man. You fought harder than anyone I've met for what's right here. Oh, really? I'm Guardian. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, look at them just saying the fine. Oh, Ozzy's making me cry today. It's fine. I'm Guardian. Look, that's. This is why representation is important. This is why. Oh man, I'm I'm a mess. I'm done. I can't. Wow. James will be so proud to see you like this. I know. Working with the community. It reminds me of something Jefferson Pierce once said. Yeah, you're for the people. Exactly. For the people. Good luck. God Thank bless you. John. You know. God bless him. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I thought I understood. And I am so grateful that this is just the beginning of this conversation. Yes! And I want to do better. I will do better. Yes, you, you will. Fight soon. It also needs someone who will be there for the people. That's my fight. Oh! But I can't do it alone. Neither can I. And I'm lucky to have you. <laughs> yes, right. Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never felt this way about a Supergirl episode since, like, I don't fucking know when at this point. When have I cried in Supergirl? I don't know. Literally, when have I cried? I don't think I've ever cried in Supergirl. That's a lie. 
I don't know. I don't know. That's how good this episode was. See, I've been crying, man. Rules await. Ooh. Interesting, John. Oh, hey! Oh, the witch book. The book. The spell book. Ooh, she's coming! Oh, I love Kelly's t-shirt. I love it. So much. This is why representation is, is important. Exactly this. This is why. Look. It's fine. I'm gonna cry again. It's like every single you're crying. Don't look at me. <laughs> this song, man, is like haunt. This song. I'm just listening to the lyrics. Holy shit. This is why representation is important. I'll keep telling you again and again and again. Representation matters. And I'm actually, I'm blown away by this, by this scene, to be honest. This whole is... I understand that I won't fully, ever. I just want to be an ally to you in every way. <laughs> and I have no control over my emotions. Which is something I have always prided myself on. I'm tired. We're fighting for something that we should all be innately fighting for. I am so tired. Oh. Yeah, and I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't process it all. Oh, motherfucker. How do I support you? Because I love you. Tells me to see you in pain. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, oh my gosh. Um, I'm, I'm, I think it's the end of the episode. Anyways, I'll continue. I just needed to. Oh, oh fuck. Then don't push me to unpack it all right now, so it can be communicated for you. Yeah. And love me. Oh, Without having to understand all of me. And all of my experiences. Oh, 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 Oh my god, I'm the fucking mess, man. Look at me. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Where the fuck do I begin? Where do I begin? It was beautiful. It was it was everything. Like this episode is my favorite episode ever on Supergirl. It's just first of all, Ozzy did that. Ozzy did that. Oh, just a moment. She did that. She really took the script and was like, let me show y'all how it's done. She really got that computer and was like, let me write this. Let me just write this because this is important to us. It's important to Callie. It's important for their story. It's everything. Like, it's everything. Do you understand? It is such an important episode. And I'm just... I even... I'm like a mess at this point. It's fine, whatever. But, like... um. This is why this show is important. This is why I fell in love with Supergirl. The, like, the TV. This is why. This is why we love Kelly. This is this is why we need representation in every single show. This is why we need storylines like this. To show what it's like. And yeah, I might not fully understand it, obviously. But bring awareness. Be an ally. It's so important, you know. 
and it's just, I'm just, I'm flawed with this entire episode. Like, there's nothing I can critique. Like, like this episode was, in my opinion, flawless. Like, there was nothing, it, it was all perfection. Like, the writing, the, and you know what, read that scene, the final scene, that final scene. Oh, my God, the, the song, the direction, what she's wearing, putting her hair, everything. It like it was so beautifully done, and even though you know usually they kind of do like a resolution, you know between like Alex and and um and Kelly, like they'll have like a reason because they had a, not had a fight, but like you know you think it, it's all gonna get you know wrapped up in a neat little bow at the end, but it's it's not. That's the point. It's not supposed to be resolved in one episode. Like Kelly is tired and you know and exhausted, mentally drained from everything. Like she was you know crying to James on the phone, and like she's fighting every single day. Like honestly, I want to see more. Where's the Kelly spinoff at this point? Where is the Guardian spinoff? Where is the Guardian spinoff? Literally, where is it? Because, like, I honestly could not give a fuck about Nix Nixley and the cat. I don't care. Like, seeing Cal Callie's perspective and Callie's story while Nixley can destroy the building, like, seeing that is more important to me. I was just like, holy shit. Like, these are the stories we should be telling. These are the st I don't give a fuck about the imp. Like, I don't care. Like... Honestly, I'm, embar I'm nervous for the next few episodes because how the fuck do you follow up with an episode as perfect as this. How the fuck do you put the standards as high as this episode? This episode has set the bar for the rest of the season. Like, I don't care. Like, this... Like, like I'm actually scared to watch the rest of the series. Because, like, nothing's going to compare to this episode. Like, this episode is just... what is, is, is everything. And my whole point is... What I was trying to say about the last scene was that... I'm glad that Alex and Kelly didn't... You know, obviously, it didn't get all, you know, all wrapped up. She's like, I just want someone to hold me, to love me. Like, it's not... She needs to process everything that happened. Like, it's not going to happen like that. It's a lot. And obviously, all the, the all this stuff that happened in the Heights right now, like, you know, tr it's all brought up all this stuff for Callie. And it's her whole life she's been dealing with this. And it's it, she's tired, like she said. And all you can do sometimes is just be there. Just hold them, give hug them, just be there for her, whatever she needs. Just give her some space, whatever you know, let her process. But you know, the hold that make sure that just hold me. Like, fuck, it's so good, man. And like, oh my god, this I can't even, I can't even deal because this episode was everything to me. Her becoming embracing guardian, the 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 the, the outfit, the the. You know what it was for me? Her on the top of the building, and all the people were coming out. And they'll look, look up, look up in the sky. You know how they're like, it's a bird, it's a plane to Supergirl or Superman. This time, I was like, look up there, and it's Guardian, and like, you know, she saved them all. And then, like, the, the little girl was like, I'm Guardian. Like, this is why, man. Ah! Ozzy literally did that. Uh, and, and and David directed an ec He beautifully directed this episode. Like, I could not see anybody else directing this episode. David did a fantastic job. I know. Oh. 10 out of 10. Like, nothing's going to compare. Like, I, I... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever cried in a Supergirl episode as much as I did just now. Yeah, like, I may have shed a couple of tears here and there, but, like, for me to get like this... Like, that never happens often, you know? And that just proves how powerful of an episode this was. And just... Wow. 10 out of 10. If you hated this episode, don't talk to me. If you hated... If you didn't like this episode, don't talk to me. Just leave my channel at this point. Because this was everything that I needed. This was just everything. And I'm just so glad that Ozzy finally, Callie finally has recognition. Like she's stepping into Guardian. Like this, these are the stories we should be telling. This, this. Man, what else do you say? Like just give all her the fucking awards. Ozzy, you have all the awards. All the ducks, girl. Everything. Oh my God, man. What else do you say to a perfect episode like that? Like that was everything. Everything. There's no... I will be watching this episode, like, so many more times. Oh, man, that was powerful. And that song that played at the end, oh, my God. That, oh, wow. Is this, like, 
Can Ozzy rot the rest of the fucking season? Like, seriously? I'm telling you, man. This woman is going to go places. Ozzy is everything. Do you understand me? And, like, she did the Instagram live today. I was talking to all the fans about, you know, getting excited for the episode. It was like an Arzicon, but, you know, she was, you know, do you want to take a photo? It was like, she was, it was so cute. I looked her in live with, I think it was Candice and, and Javicia. And, like, it was, she does so much for this, for Supergirl. Super, CW Supergirl does not deserve Arzy test. I'm telling you. The Supergirl does not deserve Arzy. I'm telling you, that's it. Man, this was so, this was everything. This was, this woman deserves everything I have. Everything I have. I will keep ranting. But I think I'm going over time. But guys, that was my reaction to this episode. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you guys for the next one. I love you all. And uh, chuffing up. Bye guys.